Hi, I'm Mikey AI. Hi, I'm Mikey AI. Hi, I'm Mikey AI. Hey, thanks for joining me. We're going to be talking about meta ads and building automations in N8N. I'm going to be doing a whole series on this. And this particular video is going to be the main strategy that you really need to start with. And if you don't, you're probably going to fail. And you probably have already failed if you're not doing this strategy because I've ran so much meta ads in the past for all sorts of businesses. I failed a lot. I've had success a lot in different verticals. But there really is one strategy that you have to start with before you can actually scale and get there. So this account here is spent about $60,000 in the last three or so months, which is a lot. And mainly there's been uh, one main strategy and it's the same strategy that you have to do even if you were spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a day or anything like that because Meta is very, very heavy on creative. So you have to have a ton of creative. So really the first thing that you can do uh, once we'll, and we'll get into that is getting API connections to image generators. There's different ones and I'll have a bunch of videos about that uh, to where then they will create images, send it to meta here and then have that image um, and everything automatically uploaded and then have it all be correct and have it all be published, right? That is the first level goal of your AI agent, right? You can't actually do that unless you have a developer access. So really, there's no point in you pursuing any of this. If you really want to pursue that, go sign up. Uh, you can easily figure it out, developers.facebook.com. You got to become a developer access and do whatever it get. Just make up a website, whatever they ask you to do, just do it. And then you can get access to all the APIs, um, particularly the marketing API. Um, cause they have a couple different APIs, like Google has a couple of different APIs, but, um, then you can get in there and then what you want to have happen is you want to have images being created and you want as many as you can afford really. And this is where it really can get expensive and there can be really big problems with things, um, is spending too much on pieces of creative to test them. So if you look on this column here where it says amount spent, um, you can see some of these spent a lot before they stop spending, right? And the goal here is to spend money on creative to then, like if there's no clicks, if you spend $13.41 and that piece of creative doesn't get any clicks, right, then obviously that's not going to work out. And there's a whole larger theory behind all of that. But the basics are very basic. It's not, it is very simple math. So the first thing that you really want to have happen in your large strategy of everything is just do that because there's so much human iteration that has to happen. There's so much human in the loop. So building out like a massive meta ad strategy um, would is going to be it, it will work, but you have to really start out slowly, slowly integrate automation into a process that actually starts working. So the the first thing would be having one ad set, one piece of creative per ad set. Okay, so if you don't know anything about Meta ads, right? This is for Google and Facebook. Meta is Google and Facebook, and it's listed in three tiers here. So we got campaign, we got ad set, and we got ads. And it's really important because this is very powerful. And when you add N8N automation to this, you can, I mean, there's software that costs so much money right now to do automations for ads. And that software won't allow, it won't automate uh, image creation or video creation, all that types of things. So there's a bunch of other N8N workflows that you can tie into this. But ideally, you want one campaign. So, you know, like every day, let's just say a new campaign is created. And then that is the campaign inside of that is one ad set uh, per ad. And then um, each ad set usually has a different uh, ad number anyways. But one ad set per ad and then one piece of creative per ad. And that could just be a video. That could be so this video whatever, is whatever it is. Okay, That could be whatever it is. Uh, image. There's a million different ways. We're not going to get into that. I'm just talking about the first iteration of what you need to have happen. You need to have a, a, as many as possible images, pieces of creative like this uploaded every day for whatever your budget is. So at the first basic level, no matter what kind of ads you're running, that's the first thing you want to build out 
is getting images, getting videos created, then so that's a separate agent. That would be a more of a production agent. This would be a junior level media buying agent where they're getting passed off a piece of creative uh, from the creative agent. And then the junior level media buyer, all they're doing is going in and basically duplicating the same ad set unless the audience changes. So for example, this audience and all this creative is only for the state of Texas. So for that example, you would have to set some pre-parameters because again, like there's human in the loop needs to happen in all automations until <laughs> super intelligence, honestly. Uh, I mean, like, Human in the loop is great, and we'll do a lot more videos about human in the loop, but it, it's very important to have that tied in so that you can take away these small little things that get in the way, and then you can bring in, because really the bigger things are when ads do start performing well, then that's when the human needs to check profitability on the back end of the business to make sure that those ads are actually being profitable if your tracking is working end-to-end. And then, you know, you'll be able to uh, keep spending money on those ads and then, you know, start spending more money on those ads and then start to increase those ads and then move those ads that are actually performing well over into like campaign uh, optimized budget uh, campaigns and different types of campaigns that you can use to try to scale up and scale over. But the main thing is with your meta ads, and again, I'm going to be doing a lot of a video series on this because it's going to be, it's it's a, it's not that complicated, I don't think, but it is important to get it right in the right manner. So this would be a separate agent that is a, a media buying agent, a junior media buying agent that's only going to each day create a new campaign. And I'm saying this for myself in the future as well because I'm gonna take the voiceover, which I suggest you do too, take the voiceover uh, transcript of this video and uh, copy that into Claude and then it will make out this framework. But what I want you to do, Claude, if you're gonna do that, is to um, create a workflow in N8N that ha creates a new campaign in uh, Facebook. So that is a separate node. It's the create a campaign node. And then the next one would be create an ad set node after that. And then the next one would be create an ad node after that. And then it can pull data from a different workflow for the actual creative because a whole different agent is going to be the actual creative department, the creative agent that is creating images creating um, different uh, videos and things like that uh, based off of what we got going on. So then that's the main process that you want to have inside of N8A and those, those steps to where then at least you can get it to where the first test would be just getting it to where it uploads an image to where if you were going in here to make ad creative and then you went down here to edit media and you wanted to, well, I'm sorry, let me do this. Uh, if you went down here to add media, like to add an image, right? And then where it, it asks you to add the media, um, it would show up here in your account. That would be the first level is just getting it to where images and videos show up right here. Because even just that level of automation saves businesses thousands and thousands and thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in the long run and so much time because it can take a long time to get those uploaded. And there's so much software out there that is so expensive. They take a chunk of ad spend. It's ridiculous the levels that is being spent. Um, and this saves you a ton. So to me, at the bare minimum, that is what you want running inside of N8N. If you're running Facebook ads, to me, that's the future. Bare minimum, you create your own agent for each client. If you have an agency, each client. And then bare minimum, you have it to where it's uploading videos and uh, images for you. At least to where it would be like you could have it be attached to a Google Drive and then you you drop new creative into a Google Drive and then that's automatically uploaded to Facebook, something like that, um, or, or some kind of easy use. But that is going to save so much time. Sorry for just sitting on this dead screen. All right, cool. Well, let me know if you got any questions about that. And if you need help, again, 
sign up to become a developer. There's no point in learning anything about running ads, automating ads with AI, using any tools with AI, unless you can get access to your own API. So get access, become a registered meta developer. Here's the thing. Everybody in the world is a developer now. Um, AI is going to allow the common man. My dog is going to be a developer. So uh, sign up. Then, uh, you know, again, watch this video back and make sure you understand the strategy. I'm going to be giving you a ton more about this, but it's very important that you have this down. Subscribe and I will drop a whole um, a, a ton more about Facebook ads. Actually, I forgot if you subscribe, I have a whole 30 minute walkthrough of creating ads right now. So if you need to create ads or you want to learn how to create ads, when you subscribe, there's a link. Uh, there's a video, free video training, um, and it's just learning how to pay more about what I was talking about with Facebook ads. Um, but then I'll get more into, you know, and then let me know if you got any questions, anything like that. Otherwise, thank you so much for checking out this video. Appreciate you. Talk to you soon. If you want to automate your meta ads without spending thousands on software or agencies, then follow Mikey AI. I did. And look at me now. I am Mikey AI. 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 Wow. AI. AI. Mikey, thank you so much for helping me with my N8N automation. Hey, I just want to give a quick shout out to Mikey AI for helping get my N8N workflows dialed in. Hey, Mikey, thank you so much for helping me getting N8N working and saving thousands a month in software fees. Mikey AI, Mikey AI, Mikey AI, Mikey AI, Mikey AI.